Now we have the expression x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. And we're wanting to investigate the values of this expression. Now the expression is defined perfectly well for every value of x except x equals 3. What's the problem with x equals 3? If x equals 3, then we have 3 minus 3 in the numerator and 3 squared minus 9 in the denominator. It doesn't take a lot of thinking to see that both of those are going to be 0 and that that is therefore going to be an undefined expression. So when x equals 3, this expression is undefined. Now, you see what I have here is a table of selected values of x. Okay, I start the value 2 and I go to the value 4. I have the value 3 in between. Now, nothing much happens uh, from 2. We get, uh, Well, when x equals 2, it's easy to verify that we get 0.2 um, because 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Negative 1 over negative 5 is 1 fifth, which is 0.2. And if x equals 4, we get 1 over 4 squared is 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. So we get 1 seventh, which is approximately, it's a little more, approximately 0.14, though. So the values of this function appear to go from 0.2 to 0.14 as x goes from 2 to 4. And if we look at values not at 3 but close by 3, like at 2.99 and 3.01, which are very close to 3, the values that we get appear to be very close to 1.66. Now, these values can go out a lot further than this. And this is like a 1.667 or something like that, and then some more numbers. And these are irrational numbers, so they just keep going. Uh, and 0.166, uh, I think this is like 0.1665 or something like that. Uh, you can work out those numbers. If we plug in 2.99, we get pretty close to 1.66. 3.01, we get pretty close to 1.66. The results both round off to 1.66, but one is slightly more uh, than the other. Okay, and this one is slightly greater than this. Now we see, uh, we also throw in 2.9 and 3.1, so that we go from 2 to 2.9, this thing decreases from 2 to 0.169. Now, it's only got a little ways to go to go from 2.9 to 2.99, so it doesn't change that much. But then it uh, somehow keeps getting closer to x, keeps getting closer to 3. Finally, it gets to 3, but we can't calculate that. It, it's undefined. And then we get values x greater than 3, and we're back about where we started from. At 3.1, we have 1.64. So. I'll note that 1.66 is a little bit closer to 0.14 than it is to 0.2, meaning that we have a little bit of curvature in this apparent line from here to here, but not much. It's almost a straight line with just a little bit of curvature to it. But we have a hole here for x equals 3 where this function is not defined. Okay, so there's no value at x equals 3, but we have values of the function for x values as close as we wish to x equals 3. We could do 2.999, many nines as we want, uh, at 3.00001. Uh, we're still going to have numbers close to 0 0.166 if you investigate that. Okay, so what we find is that there's no value at x equals 3, but we get close to something that's close to 0.166 when x is very close to 3. In other words, get x close enough to 3, it looks like we're going to get 0.166 something. Um, so we're going to investigate that. Well, we want to figure out if we can determine exactly what this number near 0.166 is, the number that the values of this function get closer and closer to. If there is such a single number, we haven't even verified that there is a single number of that nature. But when we look at the trend of the graph, we believe that there might be. Okay, it's a very plausible hypothesis. We're going to check it out. Okay, and if we can find a single number that the value of this function approaches when x gets closer and closer and closer to 3, we're going to call that... Um, well, we're going to call that the limit, 
as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. And we write that limit x, uh, that looks like x minus 3. I didn't apparently get my arrow onto that. I was so busy trying to write a legible 3 at the bottom of the board. And uh, it's pretty ugly, but I think you can see that's a 3. Uh, the limit as x, that's supposed to be an arrow, approaches 3 of x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. Okay, again, it looks like there's a number somewhere around 1.66 that this function might approach as a limit. Okay, the values of this function might approach that value as a limiting value. Can we simplify x minus 3 over x squared minus 9? Okay, well, yeah, we can. We can write this as x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 3. And now, if x is not equal to 3, then uh, this x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 turns out to be equal to just 1 over x plus 3. We divide out the x minus 3. Now, we can't do that if x is 3. But if x isn't 3, we can do that. So if x isn't 3, then this expression is equal to 1 over x plus 3. Now, OK, if x is close to 3, then what is 1 over x plus 3 close to? Well, it's close to 1 over 3 plus 3, which is 1 over 6, which in decimal form, you can verify, is 0.166 repeating, with the 6 6 is repeating, not the 1. And uh, you should do that. You should not use a calculator to do that. You should divide that out and see that that is a 1.6 repeating. Uh, that's something everybody should know, the reciprocals of these simple fractions. Um, OK. So again, if x is close to 3, then 1 over x plus 3 is close to 0.166 repeating. And if x is close enough to 3, then this value, the value of 1 over x plus 3, is as close as we might wish to make it to 0.166 repeating. So we're going to say the limit then of this function as x approaches 3 is 0.166 bar the 1 sixth or 1.166 bar. Now let me emphasize this, that the limit of this thing as x approaches 3 has nothing to do with what happens when x equals 3. When x equals 3, this function isn't even defined. So we can't talk about what happens when x equals 3. Now actually, when we have a 1 over x plus 3, which is equal to 1 sixth when x equals 3. Uh, this function is nicely behaved. So uh, the closer we get to 3, the closer we get to 1 over 3 plus 3, or 1.66 bar. Um, but again, even this is determined by the values close to 3 and not the value at 3, not actually by the value at 3. That can be a little confusing, and we'll pick up on it a little bit more when we talk a little bit more about this later. Um, so anyhow, this limit has been established because when x is close to 3, 1 over x plus 3 is equal to x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 and is close to 1.66 repeating. In a sense that if you get close enough, this gets really close. Being a little vague about that, I don't want to do epsilons and deltas with you. And if you want to look that up, you see why. Um, Okay, a little bit more on this, and we're going to talk just a little bit about continuity.